So Venture Arts is a visual arts charity in Manchester and we work with artists who have learning disabilities and who are neurodivergent and um, we have the studio and our artists come to, to the studio and we facilitate different visual arts um, sessions. So I'm a textile um, tutor, but we also have photography, ceramics, printmaking, um, animation and illustration. And all our artists will join different sessions. So for example, Horace is in ceramics and textiles. For example, Horace has been coming for over 30 years because we've been going quite a while. Um, so um, our artists come and we're not teachers, with, we facilitate people's ideas. So people come with ideas and we'll show techniques um, and how to do it and then just help people develop their ideas. Um, all the work created um, is with the aim to go towards exhibitions. So people showcase their artwork um, in local exhibitions, but also national and international exhibitions as well. So Horace. Yeah. You've been working on these um, this project with your photographs that you stitch. Yeah. Do you want to tell us a little bit about it? I was um, doing a picture of Christchurch where, where I got christened and done a picture of um, Manchester Cathedral where I got confirmed in 1980. Yeah. And I've got, I've done a picture of St. James Church, where me and my mum went to in 81. And they pulled down the old St. James Church and built a new one. Okay. I've got some bigger pictures of all of these. So this is the, um, that's the new church then. That's the old one, St. James Church, mum. Oh, okay. And did you, did you decide to do stitching because your mum used to do sewing, didn't she? She did make, she did, she did make dresses for people. Yeah. A long time ago. This is another. This is another Baptist church, then, is it? Seven Day Adventist on okay. Wilbraham Road, Manchester South. That's the one. Do you pierce the holes first, and then you go through with the thread? Yeah. Is that how you do it? Yes. Beautiful work. What about this one, then, Horace? Tell us about this picture. Well, me and my mum used to go in there to buy suits for me about she he got me a green one and a grey one and a sil and a silver one. So when you're sewing on these photographs does that does that sort of help you have all these memories of when you've gone in that shop? Yes, it does to me. So who are these and what are these photos about? My cousin. They got married in um ninety nine when me and my mum went down to Boston for a wedding. And I wore that suit with the handkerchief. So you stitched around the edges of that one as well, haven't you? Yeah. Is there any page in the book that you like particularly, Aris, or a favourite image or something well, that you like? Well, Jack, tell me. Rather this one. Oh, yeah. Oh, All dressed up. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. I think I know why you like that, Horace. Yeah. I think you like it because it's a wedding, don't you? Yes. This is a wedding thing that you made, isn't it, Horace? Was this um Kylie and Jason? Is that was at their wedding? Yeah, it was their wedding. What is this made of? Ceramic. 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 Yeah, ceramic. Wow. You've got a lot of skills. Yeah, I have. And then this next one, Jack was just saying you do all the ceramics. David Frost. So what sort of people do you like to use for your ceramics? Is it famous people or friends? Famous one. Like, yeah. um, I was on, I was on breakfast TV when I ate my corn, my corn flakes and drink my cup of tea. Yeah. Uh, great. And then I think we've got another of your ceramic pieces. But I really like this plaque that you've made, this ceramic plaque. Harry Seacombe. Yeah. Memory of him. I like the way that you use your art to, to show all of your memories, Horace. Yeah. yeah. Show me memories. Yeah. Yeah. And you do it in lots of ways with sewing and with ceramics and with yeah. photographs. Yeah. Very nice talking to you, Horace, and learning about your art. And we're really pleased that you liked our book and yeah. that... 
it's helping you to decide how to finish your stitched photographs. Stitch photograph. And and we hope you you do an exhibition with them because they're really good. Thank you. But it's nice to meet you, David. Oh, it's nice to meet you as well. I really like your book, actually. It's really, really, it's really, really interesting. Oh, Thank good. You. That's nice to hear. What, what sort of art do you tend to do then, David? Um, it it just varies, really. I've I've been going to venture arts for nearly ten or eleven years now. What's your favourite technique or medium, or what is it that you like making? I do enjoy doing textiles and photography and ceramics we've also done and I've enjoyed a lot of it really. So the project that you're working on at the moment Laura said that you really like the memory pebbles idea. Yeah and I might use leaves as I might use leaves um, as well because I might use the pebbles for like maybe to decorate them and then use leaves to like photographs and so on and I might, I might think of that as an idea. So is it just, is it your family history that you're researching? Yeah, I am. I, I have quite a, a very, 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 very thick family. Okay. You're gonna need a lot of pebbles. Where do you where do you collect the pebbles or the leaves? I went to Reddish Vale Country Park, and Martin found me some as well when he was in Dorset. Okay. Um. But yeah, we went to Reddish Vale Country Park last month, last Monday. Oh well, yes. <laughs> yeah. So who are these people now? Um one the the lady is my grand is my great great aunt Edith. Um my granddad, my great granddad's oldest sister. She was the oldest out of the ten children. Have you learned anything when you were going through all of like doing your research about your family? Was there anything that you didn't know before you started? Oh, um, I knew oh. some things, but not 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 a lot not a lot of things really but I knew that my great granddad was one of ten I really like your book it's a really really nice book thank you you're welcome were there some other um pages in the book that you really liked or was it mainly the memory pebbles um there was a few other ones that I did like actually I, I quite like this one. Oh, the cubes yeah I like that one I don't know which one it was but there's a lot I really like a lot of them do you think you might make some cubes then um, I'm not sure. Maybe um, that's a possibility, or maybe like writing and then pit and then writing and pictures together. Yeah. yeah, that's a great idea. Yeah, you could do writing on the pebbles as well. You yeah, could have images and writing. So, David, if I have a question, if you think about all of the ancestors from your family that you that you never met, is there one that you wish? you'd met that you would like I would like to have a conversation with this person from my probably, family who's that my great granddad probably because my grandma never knew him um, she, she never knew her dad properly because he okay. died of pneumonia when he was 39 and do you like doing sort of artistic projects that help you you know explore your history um yes I do it's quite it's been quite interesting doing it and I'm enjoying doing it uh, and it's really, really interesting. What's the next thing that you're going to do then, David? Um, I've not, I've not thought about it just yet. But we'd love to see photos. So if Laura will send us some photos when you've done some more work, we'd love to see them. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that would be. Good. Do you like the suggestion that was made about using the writing on the pebbles? Yeah, I think the writing would good would go well on the pebbles actually. No, I think that would yeah. do really, really well. Because in your work, a lot of it, you spend weeks and weeks doing all the writing, don't you? Yeah, because what I'm thinking is maybe I could do the writing for the pebbles and do, like, leaves or something for, like, photographs. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah. I quite like this one with the, with, the with the letter. It's like the layering of the text, isn't it? Yeah, because maybe what I'm thinking, I could put the text on, under and then the photo above. I probably won't do it. I probably would do it, like... Maybe put the writing on the bottom and then the and the picture on the top and then just yeah. work our way around it really. Yeah. Well that's easy because you've already learned how to do tissue prints for these pebbles. And so it's just the same technique, but putting it onto writing instead. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. That would look amazing. Oh, well, it's been ever so nice talking to you, David. Oh, it has been nice talking to you as well. So Jen, thank and you. I really like the book. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Well, that's been brilliant. Thank you so much, Laura. Yeah.
Well, we're so pleased that you got in touch initially and said that you were using the book. It's it's really, it's quite humbling, Jack, isn't it? You know, when it's what it is. Yeah. It's, just, it's really like true to life of how artists work. We all look at artists work and we relate and stuff. So yeah. 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 And I think like you said that you, you don't tell them what to do, you facilitate. It's really the, the same thing that we wanted the book to be about was that to facilitate. We're not really, I mean, we tell it, we're telling you how to achieve something, but also we give you all the explorations that, and the ideas that you can, and then you take it whatever you want. Which yeah, I think because that's what's really nice. Like with David, he's like, I've tried the pebbles, but actually I've learned the technique and now I want to push it in my own way. So now he's like, I want to look at leaves. Yeah. So he's learned it, but there's no point just copying, as you say. It's like yeah. giving him the platform now to move forward and develop his own ideas. So yeah, it is good. Really yeah, good. Really good.